Okay, let's test this thing out. Um, so I've already kind of wired everything up here, so I'm not wasting your time on camera. Uh, what I've done is I've connected a, uh, a power supply, and uh, it has a bridge rectifier, so you can use AC. I'm just using DC. It'll make it through the bridge as well. So I'm, I'm sending up plus or minus 15 volts, and it's going through here, and you're getting a, it's dropping about a volt, so you're getting about plus or minus 14 volts in the circuit. Should be fine. Um, I am using a, a function generator to input a signal into the uh, uh, volume control, which is this little external board I talked about over here on this uh, potentiometer. And then I am going to take the left channel, and uh, we're not going to test the right channel, just test one. Um, and I'm bringing it over to a box that I don't think I've shown before. Um, it is a box with a speaker, and it also has dummy loads in it. So uh, you can bring in and you can set it to uh, four ohms or, or eight ohms, set it to speaker or to load. Um, so um, yeah, let me uh, let me just kind of demo it first, then I'll talk about the box. Okay, there you go. So I'm in the load right now and. Now I'm in the speaker, so you can you can swap this in and out, and then you can change the uh, uh, impedance of it. Also, you could do a four ohm load, uh, four ohms, putting through more power, and then uh, uh, you can put it into load. So uh, let me show you a diagram of this box here in case you want to build your own. Uh, it's pretty handy for projects like this. Okay, so the box has two BNC connectors. Why two? Well, you hook one up to your amplifier and then you can use the other one to, for uh, hooking up to a voltmeter. Uh, so you can measure the volts across your eight ohms and, and measure the amount of power you have. You could also send it to an oscilloscope or you could uh, send it to uh, uh, total harmonic distortion measurement or whatever anyway so one of them's to input and one of them is to output they're just, they're just together here's the switch that says load or speaker and there's an 8 ohm resistor in there there's a 25 watt uh, uh, heavy duty resistor and there is a speaker um, I'm going to uh, put in a picture of the insides of this thing and uh, you can see there's those two big um, green resistors um, and a speaker and then a bunch of wires and stuff so let me show you what that other um, the other it's not a stereo box there's two ADOM speakers and way, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, draw on the other switch there's a there's another switch here and uh, it brings it brings the other eight ohm re the other eight ohm resistors in and out. So if you want four ohms, you click this, and now you've got four ohms, and open it up. Now you've got eight ohms. So that's that's the way that works. You could also make it even fancier, put in another switch and make it sixteen ohms. But I don't really care about sixteen ohms. So I make it four and eight, and then over here, uh, just to it the same switch, uh, the same switch. So these are ganged together, right? So, uh, comes and it adds uh, 8 ohms to this side as well just to make when you flip back and forth it's 4 ohms 4 ohms um, so anyway I put that in there as well but that's what's inside the box okay so we have it we have it going obviously we have some uh, we have some signal going into it so let's take a look at it uh, let's take a look at it first on an oscilloscope I think that would be fun so this is what the signal looks like on an oscilloscope. And I don't know why it's not triggering exactly right. Uh, but you can see it has some, uh, let me do a single, single sweep here. Um, it does have some crossover distortion. I think you can see that there. Uh, you, can see the, uh, you can see the crossover distortion on the, um, on the trace here. So the biasing of the uh, crossover is not correct. This is a class AB amplifier. Um, and you want to adjust that bias so that both transistors are on and right at zero. So you, you pre-bias them so there's, there's just a little bit on even at zero volts, and that hasn't been done correctly in the, uh, in the circuit here. Now, 
if we take a look at the uh, at the schematic, uh, it's the the that zero crossing bias is done with these two uh, transistors, um, and those aren't giving it enough uh, on time during zero. Uh, it's it's separating them. So the the, the forward voltage of the, these two is just a little bit too big. You could remove one of the diodes and replace it with a resistor. And, and adjust it so that your 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 A B uh, uh, class A B is 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 correct, um, but it is what it is, um, and it does try to correct it. It does have some feedback go from here over to the uh, differential amplifier. So this resistor here is some is some feedback uh, to help with that crossover distortion, but it's obviously not working not working perfectly. Okay, so so we've seen it on a oscilloscope, all right. Well, we could keep going up, and uh, I've got my I've got my new MSI up there, <laughs> but we can go here to um, uh, these two meters, and we can measure a couple things. Let me move the camera over so it's a little bit nicer. Okay, so uh, the voltage is coming in here. I'm going to measure two different things. I'm going to measure the voltage uh, across the eight ohms. So I'm, I'm measuring one volt AC across that eight ohms. So if we wanted to measure power, it's a V squared over R. So it's uh, one squared is one divided by eight. It's one eighth. So we have one eighth of a watt, right? So right now the uh, uh, speaker is getting one eighth of a watt. And uh, here we're going to measure the total harmonic distortion, all right? So we are 0 0.04, something like that. Um, and this is our, our, our generator over here. I'm not exactly sure what the total harmonic distortion is out of that. I know it's quite good, um, but just for sake of uh, measurements here, we're not going to be perfect about it. We're just going to get close here. But 0.04, you know, total harmonic distortion, that's not too terribly bad. It does have that crossover distortion, so it's going to add a little bit of funniness. So let's go ahead and turn up the volume. As I turn up the volume, you'll look at the AC volts up there, and the AC volts are changing, right? So we can go to uh, two volts AC, and now we're at uh, two times two is four, divided by eight is one half, so now we're at half of a watt. Um, and our distortion hasn't changed much. We can go up to, let's say, four volts, then that's 16 divided by eight. What is that, two watts? Oh, here's four volts, so four, four times four is 16 divided by eight, it's two. So two watts, 0.08% uh, total micro. So we've about doubled the harmonic distortion as we go up in wattage. Uh, let's go up to six. So six is 36 divided by six. But, oh, there we go, that's as far as I can go with the volume. Uh, so it's uh, five volts, 25 divided by eight, some four, four and a little bit. Let me go over here to the function generator. Is that in camera? Let me go over to camera. Let me uh, up the amplitude here a little bit and try to get this up to six. There we go. So six volts, uh, six, uh, yeah, six volts, 36 divided by, by eight is eight. Uh, no, it's four, right? 36, yeah. <laughs> so you can do the math. Um, anyway, uh, let's see. If we go to 10, if we went to 10 volts, we'd be 100 divided by 8. What is 100 divided by 8? Uh, let's see here. 100 divided by 8 is 12 and a half watts. So let's do that. Let's go up to 10 volts and call it quits. Um, let's see here. Amplitude. So here we are, 10 volts AC, and now we're at 0.6 total harmonic distortion. Um, and so we've increased the harmonic distortion here quite a bit. Let's lower it back down so it's something reasonable. Let's say 0.1 is as much as we can stand. That's five, so it's 25, 25 divided by eight watts. Yeah, so it's not a great amplifier, right? <laughs> knew, I knew it wouldn't be, but... Um, it is very, very nice to um, to have a circuit like this if you want to start understanding amplifiers because it's all discrete components. You could put scope probes everywhere. You could modify it. You could look at 
why it's distortion. You could change the uh, you could change the feedback. You could do all sorts of, all sorts of things with this. It might be a, a great learning tool. All right, so there we go. A uh, little test box is nice to have. Might want to build one of some some of those build one of those someday. Um, the kit I believe was seven dollars. I can't believe it. The whole the whole kit. I think it was six. I think it was under seven dollars. I paid six dollars and something for it, plus a little bit of shipping, but like like three dollars shipping or something. But yeah, super 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 cheap, um, and it was fun to put together. It seems to work, um, and uh, does come with a schematic, and uh, you could uh, play with it.